Hello YouTube, Glenn Anderson here. So uh, yeah, welcome to another episode of uh, the Road to the 700 pound deadlift. So this is uh, episode 21. So we're on week 12, day one, and uh, gonna be doing deadlifts today, but this time a little different. So we're gonna be doing EMOM deadlifts. So for those of you that don't know, that's basically every minute on the minute. Um, so gonna be doing deadlifts. Uh, so do one rep, rest the remainder of the minute, and then from the second minute, go again. Um, so six total minutes, so uh, six sets of uh, deadlift, six sets of one. Uh, so yeah, do that, and then um, that's different, but the rest of the workout is pretty much going to be the same as last week, uh, but just with more weight. So yeah, banded deadlifts, um, safety bar, good mornings, and then all the assistance. So yeah, pretty much the same as last week, but just more weight. It's just the deadlift itself that's going to, we're going to do that a little bit different today. So uh, yeah, enjoy the video.
okay so uh, that's the end of another session and uh, yeah all round good session so started off with um, deadlift every minute on the minute 225 and yeah that was quite comfortable did uh, banded deadlifts after 170 three sets of five and that was ridiculously easy um, on the third set I was literally just doing them as a speed rep really and yeah they felt ridiculously fast and easy so that was good moving on um, safety bar good mornings so um, if you've been following my videos you'll see that I normally do good mornings with a safety bar and um, I set the um, catches so that um, my body is basically at a 90 degree angle and then in my mind I try to imagine I'm doing a deadlift and locking out at the top so the good mornings are basically to help the lockout portion of the deadlift and been using them quite well um, unfortunately yet again uh, the safety bar at the gym has gone missing. Um, I asked about it and I spoke to the uh, guy on the desk and he said it is coming back but it's undergoing maintenance or whatever. So um, they have got a new spider bar. If you look at my previous video, um, you'll see that I used the spider bar for box squats because the safety bar was missing on Sunday as well. I don't know when it's going to be back. So when I used the spider bar for box squats, that was a quite a very similar setup to the safety bar. The only difference, of course, is um, it does pull you forward a little bit, as I discussed in that previous video. However, um, because of the design of the spider bar, um, that makes good mornings to the pins impossible. Um, because where I have uh, the catches with the spider bar as soon as i come down to try to do a good morning where um the bar comes in the middle it ca it hits the the um catches way too early so i can't do the full movement um so for a while i was kind of like pondering what to do i didn't realize i was going to run into this problem until i actually started to try and do the good mornings with the spider bar and i couldn't do it basically I don't want to use a barbell because I just don't like doing it with a barbell. Um, I have tried before and it just hurts my neck and it just doesn't feel natural really. Um, so I had to kind of like improvise and that's when I got the technique boxes out and I thought if I can get them at the right height and have the weights touch it and still get that 90 degree angle then I can still do the movement. So had a little bit of a think and then yeah I set it up and yeah it worked all right in the end. I think with the boxes, um, they have extra large ones, I think they're about 14 or 15 inches high. So as you can see from the video, it was pretty good. I got it in a 90 degree angle. I think it was probably a little bit lower than what I normally do it because when I do good mornings, the idea of it is to try and transfer over to the deadlift. And obviously with a deadlift, I'm not going to bend my body at a 90 degree angle. Um, but it's um, still... Um, it, it's not ideal, but it's good enough. So I'm going to go with that for a while. Uh, with the sp spider bar, it, it, it's okay. It's, it'll have to be an acceptable alternative for now. Uh, but hopefully the safety bar will be back in, and then I can go back to using the safety bar. But for now, I'll just have to rely on the spider bar for now and just have that use that same setup with the technique boxes because that's the only possible way that I could think to do it. So I kind of like, had to be a little bit inventive there. And uh, yeah... It, like I say, it wasn't exactly how I wanted it, but close enough. So that'll do for now. And yeah, finished on 150 and got 10. Um, the padding isn't quite as good as the safety bar. It did hurt my neck a little bit, but I just blocked it out and just went for it. And Because the weight isn't really a problem. I did 150 for 10, and that, yeah, that was uh, quite easy. It's just, um, it does dig into the neck a little bit. But like I say, hopefully it'll just be a temporary thing. And then they'll have the safety bar back. And then I can just proceed as per usual so yeah did that um lap pull downs with a supernated grip um yeah went up to 75 this time so this is the second week of doing it i'm just gradually bit by bit just building that back up and yeah that was all right um rows as well did that um that's getting a little bit hard now i'm not training to fail you on that but it, it is feeling harder now whereas the pull downs are still quite easy um, after that did leg press and uh yeah went up to 300 for 10 four sets of 10 i started off with 200 uh, but i didn't film that then did the 250 280 and it finished on 300 for 10 and yeah that was that was quite easy really actually so definitely going to up that next time um and then after that i did some banded leg curls but i didn't film that and then i did um preacher curls for biceps 
uh, supposed to be three sets of 12. So I did 19 kilos for 12 on the first set. Then 20, because last last time I did, tw- I worked up to 24 kilos. So this time I went for 26 and a half. I've got 12 reps on the first set, but it was hard. So instead of upping the weight, I stayed with 26 and a half. And unfortunately on the third set, I did only manage 10, so I actually failed. So that's my first failure. Um, biceps, being small muscles, they're going to fatigue quite a bit easier. And I, I think I kind of... Um, miscalculated a little bit there really um i'm not um biceps is not my forte really to be honest but um it's good to have them in um a lot of strong men um actually kind of underestimate biceps really but biceps training is actually important important thing to do so uh i have started incorporating well i didn't do biceps for a long time but i have started uh doing them again so uh yeah, I think that pretty much covers all of today's workout, really. And um, on the whole, generally it's good. Deadlifts are still feeling light and good. So next training session should be Sunday. So it's going to be exactly the same as the Sunday that's just gone. Um, box squats again. Hopefully with the safety bar if it's back. But if not, I'll just have to carry on and use the spider bar. Going to be dropping for, to three reps now. So I'm going to be looking for around the 205 kilo mark. Log press and all the same story. Um, Sunday we did five, so we're going to be dropping to threes on that as well. And, uh, yeah, going to be doing snatch grip deadlifts again. So, uh, yeah, that's all coming on uh, Sunday. So uh, that's it for now. Um, So I'm going to say goodbye for now, and uh, I'll see you next time.